Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to make a good camera in the Blender game engine. This cube right here will be your character. The white or grayish side will represent um, the front, and the black side will represent the back. That way when I um, test it out, you'll be able to tell the difference. So, um, before we do any work on the camera, let's make sure that the um, character can move. Add in sensor, to the keyboard, press the key to be W, add a controller, an actuator, and set the actuator to um, Y.1, and so when you connect these and go into the game, and go to the game, you'll move forward when you press W. So, we got another one for S, except this time it'll be negative Y. That way, we'll go um, forward and back. And now we need to add um, A and D, and those are to um, turn. So, the location's on the top and rotations on the bottom. Sorry the um, buttons are facing like that. I, I don't know why it does that on mine. But anyway, so A will be the left button, and so I set that to 0 0.04, because the rotate is a lot more sensitive than the um, location. Let's make sure I got that right. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, and just to make sure you know, we are not in camera mode right now. We are in um, free mode right now. We just need to get one more. Getting D. Be negative 0 0.04. I'll go the opposite direction. I, I always like to minimize them like this. So when you get into a big um, project, you'll need them small. So now when we play it, you can move any direction you want with your character like that. Now, we need to um, get the camera to work. So you get your select your camera like, by right clicking. You can zoom in on it with numpad um, period. Um, hold shift and then click on the character. Hit control P make parent. That way, now when you move the character, you move the camera. There are a couple problems with this. For one, the camera is in the wrong place. I mean, that's kind of weird, playing like this. And second, it's kind of weird looking, you know? So, let's fix that. Let's go to transform. You can get to this menu by hitting N. I already have it on my screen. Go to the rotation X, so put in um, 90, enter, rotation Y, 0, enter, and rotation Z, 0, enter. Um, whoops. Okay. Now, go to location X, set it to 0. Okay, I'm going to hit G, Shift, X, and move the camera out a bit like this. Now, um, you'll notice I have a little screen over here set to always have the camera on it. And that's pretty useful for this kind of stuff. Help align it while you're a different view. Um, but anyways, rotate on the X axis. So that you're facing the character. Okay. Now it's a little bit better. You go into camera mode and play, it's got a better perspective on it. But it's still kind of weird looking. So, what we do now, we select the cube, go down to the physics tab, select slow parent, and hit the time offset to about 30. 
So now I think I did this right. No. Okay. Just do what I just said to the camera. Sorry, I always get these mixed up. Okay. Now it's kind of it's a bit smoother. See? It doesn't follow it exactly, and it just it's better looking. You can mess around with these things down here and set it really high, um, like this. You'll hardly be able to tell. It's kind of weird looking, but who knows? You might need that for something. Um, I usually keep to the um, 20s and 50s range for this. This is um, called Slow Parent. There's another one called Old Track, but I'm not sure quite how to do that one. So I usually just stick to Slow Parent when I'm making a video. And this is a really simple tutorial on how to make um, good camera for the Blender game engine. This is Fang Dude, and be sure to visit Nistic. Mystic.com administrator is Super Three Boy. You may know him from other Blender tutorials. But it's a pretty awesome site, and you can just meet other um, Blender professionals on there, or not professionals, but people really good at Blender. So, yeah. Um, see you later.